Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this video we're going to make super fast uh, because I'm running out of daylight and just wanted to show um, compared to the last video where I demonstrated this light running through 100 meters of wire or 100 meters of the earth through the earth I just wanted to show the amp draw for that so I've got my uh, small coils here which you can see in another video um, if you want to learn how this uh, device is made uh, I've got a three-part tutorial which is super super long that covers everything so um, we shall connect up that light so we've just got the light connected to the negative terminal of the battery the high voltage line coming out of the circuit runs into this cable here which goes up the hill 10 meters and then this green cable is connected to uh, 90 meters of wire which is that one there and that goes down the hill which I showed in the last video so um, some would argue like why would you why would you need 90 meters of distance to have a light right at the source like this one is well that's that's not the intended purpose the intended purpose is to have the light at the other end of the 90 meters so here at where this system is you could place your solar panel a means of charging um, your battery whatever battery you choose and then run uh, the cable you're at least 90 meters away um, say say this system is kept you know near the solar panel uh, where you can get good lighting but at the other end of the 90 meters you might not have suitable solar set up um, so i believe we can also transfer dc power using this system but this video will just be to demonstrate um, the amperage draw so we'll turn the circuit on and we've got 3.6 watts there which suggests that light isn't actually connected Just make sure everything's connected there. All right, so got our circuit going, lights on. Uh, in the last video, it made it look a little difficult to get this light going, so I've just um, made a more stable connection with those jumper leads, having it already operational. So with that 240 volt light running we've got a consumption of 6.6 watts 6.7 watts is the maximum I see there so now what we'll do is we'll take that light uh, to the other end of the 90 meters and then compare what the uh, current drawer is then all right back in a second okay so now we have removed the light from this location and placed it 90 meters away so that's coming through the earth now and that um, wattage there 21.7 is the wattage that that same light draws at the other end of the circuit so uh, now we'll, we'll just go for a quick walk and prove that that's um, working at the other end so there is a considerable increase uh, 
I think it was around about the nine watts before and with the light at the other end that suggests to me that uh, the circuit uh, was probably using the 90 meters straight to earth as an earth um, just not sure why on the same line it seems to uh, you know require more power um, it's just it's the same line but it's at the opposite end of the line so a um, little confusing but okay so that's the light there uh, going back through the earth um, to 90 meters away if I try and take that out of the ground we'll be able to see it. it goes out well if I put my hand around it it sort of acts as some type of earth here it can ground out on me that that radiant electricity that we've seen before um, push that in the ground I don't have shoes on so I'm not going to be stupid and uh, push that in with my foot but yeah that clearly works and that's over 100 meters so next test uh, will run this light which is a different light as far as wattage goes I believe this one's uh, yes 6.8 watts whereas this one is like 11 watts or something uh, where we got there? yeah 11 watts so there is a difference in brightness I won't make you walk the hill again so I will um, head back up there turn that off uh, so we've seen that one light um, and maybe I might take this light back up with me and we'll plug it into the ground even though it's over the 90 meters and do a comparison on um, power draw and on what consumption uh, with it still traveling the 90 meters through the wire but with the ground stake being close to the the actual circuit itself and we'll see how much of a difference that makes uh, as well as running this uh, other light okay back soon so here we have that light unplugged I just disconnected that there I'll put that back on so you can see the circuit's still working and you know, I'm 90 meters away that's running through the earth if I remove that one that white connection and we'll place that on this one which is just sitting on the grass there um, and then we've got that one which is the lesser wattage draw um, but yeah it, it also I think it seems to be a little bit brighter then the other light we disconnect that again and place that on here yeah I, I personally believe that the other one's brighter so we'll put that on there leave that running sorry about the poor quality of the video it's um getting dark here and this camera doesn't have its own light source so okay so back to the top of the hill to check the wattage draw on that light which is a 6.8 watt light again running 90 meters through the ground back in a second 
Okay, so that's the wattage draw on the 6.8 watt light running uh, 100 meters through the earth. Um, so in the next video, I'll try and do a demonstration on um, transmitting DC over one of these wires. There's two wires twisted together here to make one wire, but um, I know I can transfer DC through a single wire using this circuit. So that's what I'll do. I'll connect that over the 90 meters and then we can have a way to uh, you know, power a light a you know, hundred meters from uh, from your source or at least a hundred meters because Tesla said it goes a lot further than that um, and you know if you were to use a ferret rod say you built this and, and it's not as bright as you would like every lights different which is why I'm showing those two different lights there um, and so if you place a ferrite rod inside the coil you will see that some lights get brighter when you do that uh, and that's because uh, you've you've found a resonant frequency that uh, you know, either puts out more power or or reduces uh, initial consumption so that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, you know, if uh, if you want to purchase more wire than than a hundred meter roll and do a test and and maybe uh, let us know what that test goes, or if if you're not willing to do that, uh, you know, I might see if I can afford to. Uh, buy more wire than that and, and I suppose this just allows us to transfer uh, your know, low voltage stuff into transform it into high voltage stuff let it run through the ground save ourselves 50% on copper costs and not to mention all the other components you know if you couldn't do this with conventional 240 it just would not work um, so you, know, you have to have you know up in the thousands and thousands of volts for it to work with our current technology so um, you know this is uh, a very special circuit all right thanks very much for watching have a nice day